You know, I, th I thought it was a uh, fair interpretation of the prosecution's version of events. Uh, I think it was uh, good in some parts and, and uh, fell short in others. When I was watching it, I, I heard some of the things that I actually said, and I said, oh my goodness, did I really say that? Uh, yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like people to hear the defense's side of, of the version of events, but um, I'm not sure people want to hear that side. I, I think there's, you know, there's this hardcore following that the case had. Um, that has an opinion and no matter what is said and no matter what is done, I don't think opinions will ever change. I, I think what people have an issue with is that they fully don't understand our criminal justice system. I think people should know a criminal trial is never a two-sided affair. So um, you don't have a burden on the defense side. The prosecution always has the burden. I always knew we were going to put on a strong defense. And I couldn't understand how people thought this was a slam dunk for the prosecution. You had no eyewitnesses, no confession, no direct evidence linking the crime to the defendant. And I'm speaking general terms here. With those things in any given case, you would say prosecution's got a, a, a long road ahead. I always felt we had a strong case. I can't say that I was so cocky enough to think we were going to win, uh, but I knew we were going to bring it. I think she's, I think she's a fascinating uh, young woman. I think a lot of people will be very surprised to know how intelligent and articulate she is. She, you know, she has her flaws like, like everyone else. Some, uh, some might say even more so, but, um, you know, I, I think there's a reason why everyone's fascinated with her. And I don't think it's just because of, of, uh, of some of the facts in the case. I, I, I think there's more to Casey than, than what a lot of people seem to speculate.